This tutorial will cover the use of a foot pedal in Song Surgeon. Let's begin by quickly reviewing the foot pedal that is used by Song Surgeon. It is an Infinity brand IN-USB-2 pedal. You can see it on the screen here. We have chosen this one because it is one of the more popular pedals available. It has good consumer reviews and it is compatible with both Windows and Mac machines. Two additional but important notes. The foot pedal functionality is supported only in version 3 of Song Surgeon, not in older versions. And it is supported only in the Pro version, not in the Standard version. You can check and see whether or not you have the Standard version or the Pro version by going to the Help button and then going to About. And you'll see here it will say Song Surgeon, in this case Professional, version 3062, which is the newest version that contains this foot pedal functionality. The Infinity foot pedal is a plug and play device, so all you need to do to install it is to plug it into your USB port. Once plugged into the computer, uh, your computer should find the drivers required for it, install them, and once this is done, Song Surgeon will pop up a message saying that the foot pedal is installed and ready to use. That message should look like this, and you can see it on my screen right here. I would suggest that as you begin the installation, you have your computer online if possible, because during the installation, if your uh, OS, your operating system cannot find the required drivers, it will go online and find them and download them automatically and install them. And if you're not online, then it won't be able to do that. The main objective of using this foot pedal is to give you hands-free operation for some of the most basic functions. Uh, the Infinity foot pedal has three pedals, a main pedal, which is this center area right here, a left pedal over here, and a right pedal on the opposite side. And let's briefly review now what each of these pedals does with regard to the functionality in Song Surgeon. The main or center pedal stops and starts or pauses the playback. Let me go ahead and demonstrate this for you. I'm going to go ahead and start the playback. You can listen and then I will pause it uh, and you'll see that I'm not using my mouse to pause it. There I go. I've paused it. Let me start it again by pushing the center pedal again. Again, this is the center pedal right here. So just by depressing it, it starts and stops the playback. Okay, so that's that's it. I mean, that's as simple as it is. Um, the next thing that I'd like to talk about is this right pedal over here, and you will see that the right pedal actually causes the current position, which is characterized by this white line, which you see right here, to to jump forward to the next loop and to the beginning loop point which is right here in L2 and then again to the beginning loop point right here in L3. So every time I click this right pedal on this infinity machine it will jump to the next loop point in a forward fashion it will jump to the beginning of that loop point so let me demonstrate that right now. Okay so we're within this first loop let me click it you can see that we've jumped to L2. Let me click it again. You can see that we've jumped to L3 now. So that is the function and the sole function of the right foot pedal. Lastly then, let's talk about this left pedal and what it does. And this is the most complex, if you will, of the three pedals because we've built two functions into it. The first is that if you are working or playing or practicing, you may want to have the ability to rewind this to the beginning of the loop. And if you click this or depress this pedal once, that's indeed what will happen. But if you double click it twice, it will do what this right pedal did in an, anal in an analogous way, which is to say that it will actually jump backward to the previous loop and to the beginning loop point of that loop. So again, one click, or a single click actually jumps you back to the beginning loop point of the loop that you're already within. Double click will jump it backward by one complete loop and continuing to double click will jump it back each successive loop until you run out of loops. So let me demonstrate that. Let me go ahead and start it. Okay, here's my first left click. And as you can see, we've jumped back. 
double click this time. So as you can see, when we double clicked, we actually jumped from this loop back to the previous loop. And if I double click again, we jump back from loop two back to loop one. So there you go, that's it. That concludes this tutorial on the use of the Infinity Foot Pedal and Song Surgeon. One last quick note, if you'd like more information and specifically like information as to where you can find this foot pedal, if you go to the foot pedal page on our website, and I'll put the URL here right on the screen, you'll be able to find that information. Thanks for your time. Bye.